Andriki Namaskaram to everybody. Uh, what do I say? You know, sometimes I feel like I've been on various platforms to talk about various films in my filmography. Um, it always feels important because each film is important, each crew is important, each cast member is important. Then there comes a time where there's a film like Brahmastra, which is no longer a film for any of us really. It's a breathing emotion. And it's an emotion that we want to transfer to all of you across the world. For me, Ayan is really like my firstborn in many, many ways. Um, he's also our secret Brahmastra at Dharma Productions. Um, we've kept him away, but now we've decided to kind of put him out there. Now he's exploding on various stages across the nation, which is a good thing, because I think a filmmaker must always be at the forefront, because this particular filmmaker has put his blood, his sweat, his tears, every inch of his passion into every beat of Brahmastra. There is not a single day in the last seven to eight years where I haven't seen him toil and make this labor. You know what we say, labor of love. We sometimes say it just as a statement for various films. Many films don't deserve for us to call them a labor of love. Brahmastra is more than a labor of love. It's an entire journey. And we have so many people to be grateful for, so many people to be thankful for. Literally, I mean, I don't think this film would have been possible without the pillars that supported Ayan at each stage of production, his direction team. I mean, just everyone, you name it, in his crew, they've been part of the Brahmastra family. We don't even call them crew, they're family. Because it's only family members that can sit relentlessly for hours in an office and work for someone if they're just thinking about an end of the day validation or remuneration. They're working for the film so that everyone loves this film when it releases. And I don't think this would have been possible without the pillar members of the cast, which is Ranbir and Alia, Mr. Bachchan. I mean, literally, I think Ranbir has been in this movie even before he was born. Like, it's literally, I used to hear stories from Rajamoli sir about how Prabhas and Rana have given five years of their life to Bahubali, and rightfully so, that is the crowning glory of Indian cinema. Ranbir has given over seven. I want to tell you. Um, seasons have changed, fads have changed, governments nearly changed. Everything has changed. Brahmastra was relentlessly on for him. He never stopped breathing Brahmastra, all because of his belief in the filmmaker, Ayan Mukherjee. Alia became like the little... I, Alia grew up on Brahmastra, what do I say? I mean, you know, when Alia joined Brahmastra, she was just about entering the movie, she had done a couple of films. Today, veteran Alia Bhatt, literally. Veteran Alia Bhatt, one of our strongest actors we have. So honored and so blessed that she's part of this movie Mavericks, magnum opus. I mean, I can't tell you over and above the entire brilliant cast of RRR. I'm so glad that my baby girl is in RRR, that she has a close-up, she has a close-up in a Raja Molly film. That to me is it. It's the gold standard. When I speak of Raja Mali, sir, I want to say that he made a film, his debut film was called Student Number no. One. Um, I made a film called Student of the Year, which I don't want to get into further details about, because uh, I don't think it really broke cinematic boundaries. But the only thing that I have in common with Raja Mali is not talent, genius, movie making, mastroness, nothing. Just the fact that we have one filmography which has a similar sounding title. And that's all that actually makes me happy. I watched each and every films. I've clapped loudly at watching his films. I've applauded his genius. And the one film when I saw Iga, I remember standing up in my chair at the cinema hall and I said, if he can make a fly do this, can you imagine what he can do with human beings? And then he goes and makes the crowning glory of Indian cinema, Bahubali. And I remember meeting him at our humble office. And I'm saying, sir, please allow me to present your film in Hindi. Because it will be my honor to show your genius to this country that needs and deserves Raja Mali in their cinema archives. And it is actually Raja Mali sir's film, Bahubali, that is the first true crossover film of Indian cinema. Otherwise, we talk about crossover. 
Normally when we cross, it's all over because we cross and nothing happens. This is the first time that you talk about terms like pan-India. You talk about Indian cinema. And that is all because of this genius standing on my right. He actually, actually brought cinema together within the country, within the geographical boundaries of our great nation. He brought one cinema. Today, when I see the excitement that surrounds his film, I'm like, this is a film made by a filmmaker from the South, and it's going to probably open higher than most Hindi films have in the last two years. And I can't wait to see his magic unfold. Thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing us to just breathe the same air as you. And also, thank you for being the presentation force for Brahmasran, agreeing to do this um, through Ayan's vision and magic and for all the southern markets to have your brand attached. I know, and I'm sure all of you will agree with me, will make the hugest difference. Thank you again, sir. Lots and lots of respect. One member of Brahmasra's cast actually goes way back with me and my family. I remember there was an outdoor in Seychelles, which uh, my father and mother went to. And they came back and said that we met the kindest, nicest human being on this outdoor. Him and his wife are the nicest people we've ever met. And I was very young then, and they said, Nagarjuna sir and Amla ma'am are probably the nicest people we have ever met. And, for my, and, and I've grown up hearing this about Nag sir literally hearing this from my father till his last day, that one of the kindest, nicest, warmest people I have ever met has been Naksa. And I saw that warmth, I saw that love, I saw that stardom, I saw that energy when he just came on board to a film he knew nothing about. A filmmaker he probably had never met before. Yes, he knew me, but the real reason he walked because of his passion for cinema. Sir, we really bow down in respect for all the love you've given us, your hospitality in Hyderabad, and your warmth more than anything else, sir. It makes us feel like we're protected. We're protected in your city, and we're protected by you in general. So we thank you, and really, without any further ado, I would like to invite you on stage. The stage is all yours, sir. <laughs>